having a hard time finding a good guy? Maybe you're the issue. Are you in a healthy headspace, living the life you want to live and feeling whole within yourself? Before you go on focusing on me, 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 I need, I want, this is what you can do for me. What you actually need to do is get clear on you. You need to look inside yourself and think about who you are. Where have you slipped up? What could you have done better in past relationships? How have you failed others? How have you failed yourself? You attract how you act and get what you give. You attract you. You attract your creation. If you can't figure out why you keep attracting these guys who are manic, obsessive partiers, workaholics, or lacking drive and direction, look in the mirror. The people you attract are often a reflection of a component of you, a mirror image. Maybe they're not exactly who you are, but they are an element of you, or they're an element of something that you want. Do you have manic behaviors? When you're depressed, do you lose complete control around food, devouring absolutely everything in sight? Do you easily become frenzied when something doesn't go your way, irrationally exploding on whoever is in front of you? Are you focused on finding parties every night, sometimes just in case the first one's a bust, you, you find two? If you're not out being social, do you feel like you're alone and don't have a life? When you're on vacation, are you already planning the next one, finding fulfillment on being on the move and empty when you're at rest? Do you feel like your clock is ticking down like a timer and your opportunity to get married and knocked up is now or never? So you're frantically dating anyone and everyone who asks you out just because they're husband and father material, regardless of if they're fit for you. Do you tend to take care of everything and everyone taking on too much because you know you can do it or because no one else could do it as well as you? Then you wonder why you're attracting needy people who want you to take care of them and who are never good enough for you? Are you a crazy maker? It's said that if someone is acting crazy, there's often a crazy maker. Are you that crazy maker? Are you doing the things that sabotage your happiness? Little things that get under his skin that might seem like nothing at the time but are actually really big. Maybe you are the one who's always being dramatic. You're the root of the drama. What are you doing to contribute to the repeated downfall? Because you're definitely not innocent in every single equation. Are you stirring the pot? and you don't even know it? Or maybe you do. Maybe you should ask yourself, why do I need this drama? Because you're the one consistent person in all of these relationships. Are your priorities misplaced? Maybe your relationships repeatedly are failing because you're picking the wrong guys because you have misplaced priorities and values that mislead you. Take a beat. Inhale into your belly, fully exhale out the stress and the fears and the emptiness. Now think about it. How have you been acting? What patterns have you been experiencing in your relationship? What are the similar traits that each guy you've dated possess? Look at yourself. Are those things in you too? Are you getting shallow guys because you're giving off shallow energy? Are you getting needy guys because you're giving off needy energy? Are you getting guys who are desperate because you're giving off desperate energy? Is what you're giving off really you or just you right now? Is this a phase or rooted in fear? You need to get clear on yourself first. Do the work. Then you'll get the right guy for you based on what you're giving off to them. Once you have you figured out and still before making demands, think about what you have to offer. What do you bring to the table? Are you a pretty face and a hot body, a great sense of humor, a witty mouth, a sharp intellect, a nurturer? What else? This is when you look at your core values. Then you need to combine the two concepts, being clear on what you actually want and understanding that you get what you give. If you want honesty, be honest. If you want trust, be trustworthy. If you want love, be loving. Now that is when you'll finally be happy and make someone else happy in return. For more information about me and my dating coaching, visit my website, screwingtherules.com. You can also buy my book, Screwing the Rules, The No Games Guide to Love. It's sold wherever books are sold. Thanks so much for listening.